problems that you have with it. it it's weird how it, this is another thing we could definitely talk about is how much people want to claim that it's just the perfect thing and I just I don't believe in anything being perfect. I believe some aspects can be handled very well, but there's usually something something wrong with it. Um, but Elden Ring does have problems, and I personally have never played a ten out of ten game, and I don't think, and I I probably never will. Um, another thing is that Dark Souls is currently still number one. I don't I don't want to put Elden Ring up there yet until I've seen more of Elden Ring. Um, but personally, I would give Dark Souls the game maybe, heck, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. And that's only because of stuff that doesn't feel finished in the game. But you, you got to consider, I mean, a game that doesn't feel very finished in some areas, still getting 8.5 out of 10 just shows you just how impactful it is. And now, um, The Last of Us. It's in, it, the Last of Us is in my top five, but it's not over Dark Souls. But I would hide... I, this might sound really weird, but I would rate The Last of Us higher than Dark Souls just because of how much more of a finished game it is compared to Dark Souls, but I can put a lot more creativity into my playstyle in Dark Souls 1 compared to The Last of Us. Yeah, The Last of Us, at least the one, it, it was very linear, mm -hmm. you know, because it just followed that style of, this is a story game, you're following the story of these characters, so of course it's going to be linear and you're not going to be doing all this other stuff i guess uh, right um i don't know i didn't really care for the last of us as much as some of some people did mm -hmm. personally is i mean it was a fun game it was a good game it just wasn't my thing um because i, I played plenty of lin linear games uh god of war god of war almost in the same style uh being you know that you're following these these characters uh story but there's so much extra stuff to do mm -hmm. and maybe that's not fair to compare the last of us to some my god of war because i came out at completely different times and you know um but i will i will take another game from that kind of i'm going to call the clickers zombies because i mean they're they're basically zombies yeah, it's, oh yeah. Yeah, there's no denying yeah. that. So, um Days Gone. Days Gone was fan I loved Days Gone. Yeah, I need to and, finish it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well I platted it out and uh tweeted that I platted it out and then Xander Reese, the guy who did some of the music for the game, followed me. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. And then then after a while, one of the lead developers, uh also followed me from the last of us i mean from days gone and so it's just really cool how welcoming they were you know they just found my random tweet and were like dude we love that you love the game you're a cool dude <laughs> and that just made my day um I'm trying to think of the guy's name like josh or josh so sorry <laughs> um it was it was incredible and the story was great and there was like dark souls cover art for the bike you could like change the decals and stuff you're upgrading it's like your bike the whole game and it was really fun for me and i just it, it sucked me in so much and it wasn't for everybody because the game did have problems on release uh but i i would rate that as strong it was like a 9.5 well wow. no that's what it is it was a nine nine out of ten Wow. Uh, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal, I gotta give a 10 out of 10. Dang, I still need to play it. I, I need to finish the first one. <clears throat> Doom 2016? Yeah. Well, those, those are two completely two completely different games. Really? Is that drastically well, different? Well, pretty much. I mean, the gameplay, yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it's completely different. In Doom 2016 you're not locked in there with the demons. The demons are locked in there with you. And, uh, and in Doom Eternal, it, it's more so, I mean, halfway through Doom 2016, you are an unstoppable killing machine. If you're not just, if you don't just put down your controller or walk away from your keyboard, they can't even kill you. Hmm. I mean, I, the uranium-coated buckshot and stuff, and he's got all these crazy... 
it's insane on how much ammo you can carry. In Doom Eternal, in every single room, you're trying to constantly juggle how much ammo you have because you have to chainsaw enemies for ammo and all this other stuff, armor, uh, you're having to burn enemies for armor and you're having to freeze them to stop them in their tracks to get them to hold still for five seconds so you can launch a, uh, three homing rockets in their face and all this. Other. I mean, wow. You're constantly juggling all these things in these really well-bent, well-made arenas. And it was just so incredible for me. It harkened back to those old classic FPS so much. And it was just every step of the way. It was sheer adrenaline and pleasure. Okay, yeah, I definitely have to um, give it a chance when I mean, if I can find like a find it somewhere and it speaks to me, I'll definitely pick it up because um, it definitely sounds very. I mean, so in your it's, opinion, it's is like it... you're doing a dance in okay. the eternal, and if once you like get into that rhythm you're in it and it's okay. like you're blown away you're drawn in just chef's kiss so it's Good. just you wouldn't even call it a, a huge improvement from the first game you would just call it like a totally different experience i would i would it's like an evolution from the first game okay an evolution and they nailed it it was like it's like evolution perfected this is they took everything that Doom used to be and took all these elements at it and all these things that belong in it and perfected it. Hmm. I can't I can't think of any other way to describe it and how much I love Doom Eternal.